At the beginning of Adam's turn, he decides he wants his Jugo to attack Connor Sasuke. Now we compare each of our cards. We look at Jugo's combat power, which is 29,000. Then we compare it to Sasuke's combat power, which is 28,5. This means that Sasuke does not get a defense bonus. Now we look at Jugo's attack power, which is 29,000. We compare it to Sasuke's health, which is 28,5. This means that in doing the damage, Sasuke will die. Now Connor rolls to see if Sasuke can perform a substitution jutsu. He called out a 3 and landed a 5, which means that Sasuke is now defeated and goes into the graveyard. With that attack finished, Adam can now choose which one of Connor's cards he would like to attack next. Fast forwarding a bit, after I had used all of my cards to attack all of Connor's cards, um, the Sasuke that I had attacked managed to get away with using a substitution jutsu, which gained Connor one experience point. Adam will now be able to roll for his bonus phase. He will get to roll two times because he killed two cards. Both times the rarities were the same, so he will need to roll on an odd. When the classes are the same and you're rolling to get an experience point, you need to roll an odd to get an experience point. So there I rolled a three, and then I go ahead and roll again for the second card that I killed, and I got a five. So that means I get two experience points. And since I have defeated two of Connor's cards, I now get to draw from my R slash SR pile, being that the two cards that I killed were R cards. So I pick two cards from my R slash SR pile, and those are the cards that get now added back to my hand. Now it is my opportunity to be able to evolve any cards that I have on the field. I have two chakra points right now, but unfortunately with the cards that are in my hand currently, I cannot evolve any of the cards that I have out on the field. I do not have an Aruka R that I would have to evolve to that Aruka SR, and I cannot place that Minato SR card because I would have to place that at the beginning of the turn because Minato does not have an R variant of him. So with that being said, now it is Connor's turn. I just want to add this in real quick. You are only able to evolve cards that are out on the battlefield. So in order to do that, just say I had an Aruka R card, I would have had to um, place it at the beginning of the turn, do my attack, then roll for my bonus, then draw uh, my cards that I earned from getting any kills, and then after that, only after that would I be able to evolve the card that's on the battlefield. I cannot evolve any cards that are in my hand. So if I had an R Aruka in my hand and then an SR Aruka, I cannot evolve that R Aruka. It is now Connor's turn. Connor will draw. Connor does have one experience point to use if you wanted to play Minuto, but he's electing not to. Instead, he will move on to his attack phase. He will have Sasuke attack Kushina. As you can see, Sasuke's combat points are less than that of Kushina's, so Adam will get to roll a defender bonus for his Kushina. He will roll a four-sided die. And it lands on a one. So Sasuke will get a critical hit, ignored any damn um, any defense bonus and Kushina will take two twenty thousand attack leaving her with four thousand health i just want to specify that the reason that the attack does full damage is because the defense dice is what tells you how much the attack is divided by so if we roll a four-sided dice and we get a one uh twenty thousand damage divided by one equals twenty thousand so that means that it is a classified as a critical hit and that means that it does full damage after writing down kushina's new health connor's attack phase is now ended he does not get to go to his bonus phase since he did not kill a card so he moves directly to the evolution phase he will use his one chakra point to evolve his sasuke to in the sr version of that card he will take the r version Put it in the middle of this deck and shuffle. And it is now Adam's turn. Since Adam's turn began 
this begins the start of the second round. At the end of this round, they both get a chakra point.